lightning. It's far more dangerous than you might think. Lightning is responsible for 57 deaths each year in the U.S., making it about as deadly as both hurricanes and tornadoes. The National Weather Service calls lightning the underrated killer. There are 25 million lightning flashes every year. Some of those could happen when you are nowhere near shelter. We're at the High Voltage Laboratory at Mississippi State University to test lightning. What if your outside instinct says run under a tree to get protected? But is this the best place to be? Dr. Stanislaw Grzbowski, director of the High Voltage Lab, has agreed to create some lightning for our tests. Lightning tends to travel over the path of least resistance, which means that it usually moves through the most conductive surface available. So you need to make sure you're not in or near that path. Weatherproof will aim a homemade 1 million volt lightning bolt at this tree. And we'll see if any electricity jumps to our test dummy. Ready, Jason, charging. Clear? Yes. I really want to check out our dummy because I could see smoke coming off of this thing during this test. If that would be a real person, probably would be that. Really? The lightning hit our rain-soaked tree, traveled out along the branch, and then jumped from the tree to our wet dummy. Lightning will usually hit the highest object in the area, which in this case was our tree. The safest option is to get to a solid building. If you have no other alternative, a small measure of safety is obtained by squatting into a ball. But you are not safe. Of course, better be wet than dead. So the best bet is to do the squat in a ball type oh, of a thing? Oh, yes, but not below the tree. Not below the tree. There you go. If you are caught outside in a thunderstorm, try to stay at least 15 feet away from other people. You should also avoid wide open spaces and high ground. Stay away from metal objects like fences or canopies and stay far from all trees. But what about a car that's made up of metal, electricity's favorite conductor? If you're caught in a car, should you get outside or stay inside? And if so, what should you do? We'll place our mannequin in the driver's seat and connect her to the lab's computers to see if any electricity runs through her. That strike seemed powerful. The tire smoked a little bit. Let's see what is inside, how okay. the person is behaving. According to the computer, 300 amps of energy went flowing through the mannequin's body. 300 amperes could kill the person, no doubt. A lot of people think that the tires will ground the car, or since it's rubber, that's why you're safe inside a car. The rubber, the tire, is insulation. During a raining and thunderstorm, the tires are wet. And if they are wet, they are conducting. The electricity did travel to our mannequin, but only where she was touching parts of the car that could conduct electricity. You want to make sure you're not touching anything, because then you become the path of least resistance. So if you're not touching anything conductive in the car, can you be safe? We reposition our mannequin so she's not touching any metal, fire up our lightning machine charging and hit the car a second time discharging all right let's go check it out okay let's see what is inside just from looking at this we made sure that our, our dummy here had you know her feet off the ground and she wasn't touching anything and from what we can see she looks fine she looks fine. Nothing happened to her. Yes. She's alive. According to the lab's computer, no electricity went through the mannequin's body. 
That's because electricity from a lightning strike will flow around the body of the car and not through the middle of it. That's a phenomenon known as the skin effect, and it means that you can be safe inside your car during an electrical storm. Your best protection from lightning when you're in a car is to make sure if you're not driving that you're not touching anything in the car. Take your hands off the steering wheel, take your feet off of the pedals, and make sure you're not touching things like the air conditioner or the radio. Just sit in your seat and if possible, actually bring your feet up on the seat and crouch in. So if you are driving during a thunderstorm, pull over and make sure you aren't touching anything but the car's seat fabric. You can tell how close the storm is by how quickly lightning is followed by its thunderclap, but you should wait until the storm has passed completely before getting back on the road. If a lightning storm is coming, the best place to be is inside, and even then you should make sure to stay away from electrical equipment and water.